Hello everyone and welcome back to channel. Today we take a moment to remember and honor the lives of notable stars and public figures who have left us in the past week. Before that, please subscribe the channel. Number 3. Billy Ed Wheeler died on 16 September 2024. Billy Edward Ed Wheeler was an American songwriter, performer, writer, and visual artist. His songs touched the hearts of many, spanning generations and musical genres. Among them, Jackson, a Grammy award-winning hit for Johnny Cash and June Carter. He wrote iconic songs like The Reverend Mr. Black, Desert Pete, High Flying Bird, and The Coming of the Roads. Songs that painted the landscapes of human experience, joy, hardship, and resilience. His work was cherished by over 160 artists, from Judy Collins and Neil Young to Kenny Rogers and Elvis Presley. Yet Wheeler's creativity extended far beyond music. He penned plays, musicals, folk operas, and outdoor dramas that spoke to the Appalachian soul. His humor brought smiles in a series of books, while his novels, poems, and paintings revealed a deep, contemplative spirit. In 2018, he shared his remarkable journey in the memoir, Hotter Than a Pepper Sprout. From his Appalachian roots to Yale, from writing for legends like Elvis and Johnny Cash, Wheeler lived a life richly woven with art and music. But behind the accolades, beyond the stage lights and radio hits, there was a man who never lost touch with the simple beauty of home. A man whose heart remained in the hills of Appalachia, even as his songs reached far beyond. And though he's no longer with us, his songs will always remain, echoing through time, carrying with them the legacy of a storyteller who spoke to the soul of a nation. Number 2. Irene Ryder Died on 1 September 2024 Irene Ryder was once the voice of a generation in Hong Kong, a singer whose talent lit up the stages of the 1960s. Her rise to fame was swift, winning the title of Go-Go Queen in 1966, captivating audiences with her energy and charm. Her first single, To Sir With Love, was a tender reflection of her gift. But it was her duet, Baby Baby, with Robert Lee, brother of the legendary Bruce Lee, that cemented her place in the Hong Kong music scene. She wasn't just a singer. Irene took on the world of film, starring in fantasy and drama, with roles in The Flying Killer and Cutie's Parade. She became a star not just for her voice, but for her screen presence. And in 1969, she stood alone as the only female singer chosen to represent Hong Kong at the 1970 World Expo in Osaka, Japan. A proud moment that showcased her as an ambassador of her art. But her career, filled with so much promise, came to a sudden, devastating halt in 1975. On a seemingly ordinary day, just outside her home in Simsha Tsui, an acid attack changed her life forever. The cruel act left her with severe facial injuries, forcing her into a life filled with pain and surgeries, nearly 20 in total. Her bright career, once soaring, was tragically cut short. Irene Ryder passed away on September 1, 2024, at the age of 75. Her legacy, once filled with the songs and joy she brought to so many, now carries the weight of a life that was taken from the spotlight far too soon. Yet, in the echoes of her music and in the memories of those who loved her, Irene's voice still lingers. A reminder of both the fragility of life and the beauty she left behind. Number 1. Franca Betoya died on 13 September 2024. Franca Betoya, a name that may not be familiar to all, but whose presence graced the screen in a time when Italian cinema flourished. Born into an upper-class Roman family, Bettoia was destined for the arts. She began her journey with dance at the Teatro dell'Opera di Roma, but soon found herself in front of the camera, debuting in 1955's Un Palco all'Opera. Her breakout role came in 1958, starring opposite Pietro Germi in A Man of Straw, a performance that earned her critical acclaim and a Grolladoro nomination for Best Actress. Yet, despite such recognition, her career would take her deeper into the world of genre films, adventures, 
sword and sandal epics, and horror. In 1964, she starred alongside Vincent Price in the haunting adaptation of Richard Matheson's I Am Legend, playing Ruth Collins in The Last Man on Earth, a role that would leave a lasting impression in the world of science fiction. In 1963, Franca began a lifelong relationship with actor Ugo Tognazzi. Their union, marked by love and collaboration, led to marriage in 1972 and the birth of two children, Maria Soleil and Gianmarco, who would go on to make their own marks in the world of film. But Franca was more than just an actress. In 1975, alongside her mother, she founded the Gran Loggia Femminile d'Italia, the first Masonic organization for women, breaking new ground in a traditionally male-dominated institution. Franca Betoya passed away in Rome in September 2024 at the age of 88. Her life was one of talent, quiet strength and subtle defiance. Though her roles may have been forgotten by some, the impact she left on cinema and on those who knew her remains a lasting tribute to the remarkable woman she was. And now, as we remember her, we can still see her, frozen in time on the silver screen, a part of cinema history, yet forever more than just an actress. If you like the video and information, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, drop a comment below, and hit subscribe with notifications on, so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching.